Okay everyone, welcome back. In this section, we will be going over rendering, final output, and camera animation. But first, let's go to the content browser and create a license plate material. Right now I'm looking for the Maya material named plate for the license plate, double clicking it thus opening the material editor and searching for a constant once again i'm going to be adding that constant to the roughness input giving it a value of 0.8 because we want it to be fairly rough and i'm dragging in my license plate texture and attaching it to the base color, hitting save, and now the material is completed, and we just have to go into the car folder, find the plate material, and apply it to the license plate geometry. As you can see, it applies quite well. That's because I have good UVs on the object already, and now we can get started with the rest of the video. Panning around the model, to check the different lighting angles and to find a nice composition. There's still a few, a few areas of the model that I haven't applied materials to, but I've just fixed them and here we go. We're going to create a uh, still image render and then we're going to create an animation render both will be an image sequence which means they will be in JPEG format which you will need to combine into a video file inside of an editing program I prefer using Adobe Premiere Pro for this but you can also use Adobe After Effects or you can use Nuke if you prefer that as a compositing engine Go to Cinematics, Add Sequence, name the sequence Car 2, because this is our second sequence for me, and click Create. And here we are, in the Sequencer tab will automatically open, and we'll go to Create Camera. Click the icon, and it, you will be now looking through a camera. Just pull this down so we can see a bit more details. Go to the current aperture and change it to 1000 or 100. Focal length to 20. And this red slider here is showing the end of our clip or render region. So I'm going to shrink it down because we only want to render out a couple of frames for our still images, for our still images. And now I'm finding a nice camera angle. And we will set a keyframe underneath transform inside the camera attributes. We'll click the middle key to set a keyframe, which will lock our camera in this position. From here, we will go to cinematics, movie render queue. If you do not see the movie render queue, go to the plugins and search for movie and you can scroll down and you can see the movie render queue is enabled for you it may not be enabled please enable it and restart unreal now that you have that enabled let's go back we'll go to cinematics movie render queue click the render tab we'll go and we'll choose our sequence that we have right now we're on we're on car 2 is what we named it we go to the settings where it says un, unsaved configuration click on that We'll go to settings in the top. As you can see, it's this JPEG sequence as we talked about before. And here we'll choose anti-aliasing and we'll set our anti-aliasing to 22 by 22. And we will check override anti-aliasing. Next, we'll go to output. We can choose our output resolution here. And then we can choose our output file location. Be sure to choose a folder that is empty or create a new folder because you will have several sequenced JPEGs and for these JPEGs to be 
transformed into a full video or imported into Adobe Premiere, it's important that they are all organized in sequence or in line with each other. Now we can press accept. And render local. This is the preview window. It gives you a nice low quality preview of your final image, the frames that have been rendered out, the frames that will be rendered out, the subsample, the subsample anti-aliasing amount per frame as it calculates, and a nice estimate on when your render will be finished.